hello everyone welcome to my channel world of aws i hope you all are doing good so we are continuing with shell scripting tutorial for devops and in last video we have seen about a while loop how we can define while loop and what are the way to define while loop in shell script okay so in this video we are going to discuss about function in shell script and how we can define the function in shell script how we can call the function in shell script we are going to see all the things here in this video okay so in shell scripting you can define function to a group a set of command and execute them as a single unit okay so whenever user want to execute uh, and call the set of command for a multiple time or a single time they can achieve this by using function in shell script okay so let's jump to terminal here and I have already created the file that is test.sh okay so there is two way to define function in shell script okay so first we have to write the function okay then we have to define the function name and we have to use parenthesis then after that we have to use curly braces okay then we have to write the name sorry we have to write the command okay and so this is the one way to define function in shell script and we are going to see another way as well so here we can call the sorry uh, we can define the function name directly okay we don't have to mention function here and we have to give the parenthesis and then after parenthesis we have to keep f1 a space here and we have to write the command okay so this is the two way to define function in shell script so we are going to see and define both the way okay so let's take example that is my name that is pipin and let's echo and sorry mm, 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 okay echo pipin okay so this is the function having name bipin okay so here we are calling the quit function okay that will exit our script okay let's save it and now how we can def uh, call our function so we have to define directly call write the function name here that is pipin we have given and we have another uh, function we have given that is quit okay so that is quit let's save this file and go to the terminal open new terminal and let's execute our script so as we can see we are getting bpin as the output because our uh, like a script is and uh, what a script we are using here that is first this function is getting called okay and then after that uh, the quit function is getting called and this script is getting okay by this function so suppose I want to call quit function first okay before this b pin okay so let's call this quit function first save it and let's try to execute our shell script so as you can see here you didn't see any output here because we have called the quit function here uh, first okay so that is quitting our uh, like uh, whatever script we have written that is quitting uh, first okay and this function is getting executed first so and in this stage it's getting execute uh, quitted so it's not able to call the, this function that having name that is pipin okay so let's uh, try to execute some more command okay so quit and suppose i want to echo then oh uh, hello welcome to my channel okay so let's save this file and let's again execute this okay so as you can see hello welcome to my channel 
and then after that we are getting the output as a bpin okay because the quit function is getting called in last and first uh, it's calling the function sorry it's uh, echoing the value that is hello okay welcome to my channel then after that it's calling the function that is name that having name bpin then after that quit function is getting called okay so there is one another way how we can uh, pass uh, value okay argument in uh, function okay so we have to write here print okay and instead of echoing any value we have to define dollar one okay so let's create this okay dollar one okay so now how we can print this value how we can pass the argument so first we have to write the print then after that we can pass any value oh, sorry we can pass any value okay hello welcome okay and then after that we are calling quit function okay let's save this file and try to execute this as you can see here we got the output hello welcome okay so suppose you want to uh, pass multiple argument here okay then how you can do it you can you have to define the dollar then you have to write two then you have to define dollar then you have to write three okay and how many argument you want to print you can do it okay so hello welcome oh please subscribe okay print happy learning okay so it will consider the whatever variable you have passed here that is that having value one it will consider the to print the value of that variable here and whatever variable you have passed dollar two it will consider the value here and whatever argument you have passed here with dollar three it will consider the value here okay in the sequence manner okay so let's save this file and try to execute our script okay so first it's printing hello welcome please subscribe and happy learning then after that quit function getting called and it's quitting our script okay so i hope you understand like how we can define function in cell script and now you are able to define and pass the argument in cell script using function okay so i hope you found this video informative and helpful and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are new to my channel then do check out my other playlist as well thanks thanks for watching and if you have any query any confusion then please do let me know in the comment section i will be happy to assist you on that thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video